Sir, is doubt prohibited in Islam or does it lead to God? No, not at all. Doubts are welcome. But if you could look at the Quran, the first ever ayah of Quran, the Quran starts after dua. Alif Lam Mim Zalikal Kitab Ula Raibafi. Okay, this is a book in which there is no doubt at all. Imagine the word. If this is a this is a book in which there is no doubt at all. It means you have doubts, come on and find it. So this is that this is a book of doubts. All knowledge is born out of a question. And uh, he is so much against not questioning, not knowing, not answering. They say, in Nasharat Dawab in Dillah Sumun Buk Mullazina Laya Kirun. The worst animals, not humans. The worst animals in the eyes of God, he says, in my eyes, are those who do not think, who are blind, who are deaf, who just act. They don't think at all. And again he says, let's say go to the human part of the human argument. He says, Layahlaka man halakam bayanatin. That who lives, lives by a good reason. Well, yeah, that who dies, dies with a good reason. The Yahlaka man halaka am bayanatin. And Yahya wa Yahya man hayya am bayanatin. That who lives, lives by a good commitment and reason. In Allah, Allah, Samiyun Aleem. And your God hears everything and is a God of knowledge, not of ignorance. So where lies accepting, no doubts. I doubt if people really are knowledgeable about what kind of a God they have. The concept of God is prehistoric. He's a master of power. He's a killer. Just like Thomas Hardy says, he's a killer. He kills us like flies for his own pleasure. This is not true. When man takes over as a God, he does it. It's not God himself. He's absolutely, he's extremely kind. And when he tells you, I'm more kind than a hundred mothers, the intensity of an emotion of a mother you can realize, I must say. And he says, I am more kind if a hundred women's intensities are, you see, calculated. I'm even more kind than them, you see. How could he be, I must say? He's not an insane or a sadist or a masochist God. He's not that. It's absolute, pure reasoning, pure knowledge, pure kindness, pure truth, pure life. Do, doesn't it uh, shock you when we see all goodness comes out of God? All natural, beautiful human laws come, have come out of religion and God himself. Why has not me, a man, been able to create a nice, good law? There have been created laws of justification of homosexuality, lesbianism, traffic laws, and maybe economic laws. They have only created these things. They have not created, till now, no human society has ever created a single moral law. Thank you, Is, doesn't it look strange? You must think about this. Thank you so much, sir.